Hey guys, highly one out here, and if you haven't already tell by the title and thumbnail, it's the one year anniversary of his channel's existence. And today we'll we'll be I guess, doing a triple review. First off, let's start with Sludge. And here we have for the first review of this long video. Studio Series 86, Sludge. And, to be honest, like, I feel like Sludge, out of, out of all the 86 Dinobots, I think is the, possibly, at least until Swoop eventually comes out, is so far the worst, in my opinion. Because, well, for one, the legs on my copy kind of make him lean back a, li a little. Who knows why? Two, uh, these bits are, well have rubber connections that's not the best and also s some connection or well, some tabs especially in dino mode don't like to stay in place so but that that's just me you know maybe some other copies of this figure are better but that that's just me but it's still a, but this is still a good figure you know it's like, 86 Dinobot, back, back the original uh, leader class scale. So, that's good. But, uh, but anyways, la let's get to, to the review. Now, obviously, this looks like Sludge. It's it's supposed to be. You know, it's the 86 line. So, he's obviously supposed to be. But when it comes to, uh, but when it comes to uh, articulation, his head's on a swivel. He, uh, you you can cheat for some up. Uh, the arms are on, like these hinges, so 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 I can pull out roughly a ninety. Uh, the elbows are are on double hinges, so so slightly more than ninety. Uh, the hands are on swivels. And there's a sword, and kind of has sword wielding wrists. Uh, the arm could not move out this far. Can't move out much because of these flaps. Uh, when it comes to the legs, you know, per perfect split. The legs can pull just about a 90. There is a thigh swivel, waist swivel, and there's a pretty good uh, ankle and basically maximum toe down. When it comes to accessories, Sludge has his gun. That's all he has. Uh, you can peg it like a into his hands, and, yeah. Well, anyways, for some size comparisons, here we have Sludge with, uh, with Springer, and here we have Sludge uh, with 86 Starscream. Now, le let's get to the Dino Mode. And here we have Sludge in his Dino Mode. Now, the small complaints of, about the tabs not going in is where the as complaints go to because here, like, at, at this portion, uh, tabs won't typically go in unless I force them together. The same with, with, with that, like, spiny bit of where the legs are. You know, tabs won't go in. It's kind of annoying, but yeah. But when it comes to articulation, head is on a hinge. Can't okay, look up that far. Look down that far. Mouth can open. There is a swivel at the neck. A hinge if that won't fall apart. And there's another complaint about the tabs, but neck can go down that far. Uh, little little baby legs can can go up that far. There's a little hinge. And you can have a bit of toe down and toe up. The back legs have basically the same articulation as the arms do in robot mode. 
minus the hands, so it's all fine. For some size comparisons, here we have Sludge with Springer. And here we have Sludge with 86 Starscream. Now, for the weapon storage in this mode, if these tabs will go in, the weapon storage for the gun, uh, there's two tabs. You can tab them right here on the feet, like that. You can get it in, boom. And that's where the gun will, will go in the dino mode. But yeah, besides the tabs not, not going in for dino mode and the legs being weird in robot mode, it's still a good figure. But definitely not the best of the dino bot fi uh, figures, that's for sure. But anyways, let's move on to the next figure in this review. And next up for this video, here, here we have... Studio series, The Fallen, and let me say, uh, this figure, f besides Sludge, f is st are starting to bring back the old leader class size scale from like Power of the Primes like era, so that's good. Plus, this figure looks amazing, and thankfully, there's not as much issues with this figure. Like I had with Sludge. Thank God. But, well, anyways. Let's get into the in, into the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. So, so you so can look up this far, down that far. Uh, you can kind of adjust the head. And, and if you take off the mask, you can make the mouth open. Uh, the arms are on hinge on, on hinges, and I guess these back portion things are uh, uh, like the connectors here are on ball joints. These here can move up, move up or down. Uh, you can have them separated if you want, because you can take them apart. But but for now, ju uh, just to show the uh, the articulation, I will have these off. But yeah, the arms can move. Up that far, and, and you can treat it for some more, but that just looks weird. Uh, the arm can bend down like a lot. Oh, where he he can touch his armpits. Uh, there is a kind of a kind of like a bicep swivel here, if I can, yeah, like a bicep swivel. The hands on a is on a hinge and is also on a swivel the, there is no waist but that's kind of uh, understandable uh the legs all are on pin joints here so that's the farthest spread uh thigh swivel you know thigh swivel a uh, day can kick out th this far and back this far but that's without these parts here out added on. Uh, there's a a dice a knee swivel here. Knee that can go a bit above ninety. There is another swivel right there. Uh, the feet are on what seems to be ball joints, so so you can kind of like move them around, and the toes can also be moved. So you know for uh, for max movement. Well, anyways, well, anyways, for some size comparisons, here we have the Fallen uh, next to Studio Series Star Scream, and here we have the Fallen right next to Mech Tech Prime. Now, for the accessories, oh, which I kind of forgot to do before the size comparisons, are that staff thing. You can plug it into any one of his hands. Uh, make sure you you kind of shove it through enough where you can peg it together, and boom! Now the fallen has a staff. But anyways, let's get into the spaceship mode, quote unquote. And here we have the fallen in his quote unquote spaceship mode. 
Now, just like with the old ver version of the fallen a figure was, like, like every fallen figure we've gotten so far up to the studio series figure has always had some janky looking vehicle mode like all always but you know despite this thing looking jan janky it still has, has some cool details to it you know like uh, it looks nice looking cockpit uh like the head kind of being used as like a thruster of some kind but yeah to be honest like i don't i don't know what else to really say about this you know it's some weird cybertronian spaceship like what else is there to say about it well for some weapon storage there are pegs here and here and you can peg the staffs in like the halves here like of the staff to kind of like make i guess blasters for the spaceship but it's like What's the point of these being here? It's just extra crap on this thing. So it's like, what's the point? But yeah, for size comparisons, here we have the Fallen next to Studio Series Starscream. And here we have the Fallen next to Mech Tech Prime. Now... And now we, now we, now that we, now we got this figure out of the way, it's time for the final portion of this video. And here we have for the final part portion of this review, it's fans hobby Mag Tyranno MB17, not Armada Mag Magatron. Now, now, like if you couldn't already tell by the lack of Decepticon insignia. And by the clearly evident name, this is obviously a third-party figure. But here, here's the surprising thing: it was not, you know, found found online like your stereotypical third-party figure. It was found at at your stereotypical retail release, like not a Target or something, but it was, it was still found at some shop for two hundred hundred bucks. My my mind you, but still. A third party figure found at retail release. It's kind of surprising. I will be honest about that. But yeah. You know, third party Armada Ma Ma Megatron. Possibly my, my, my only third party figure I might get my hands onto until may maybe later down the line for now. But still, yeah. Well. Uh, well, you, uh, well, you can't have 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 an Armada Megatron without a Minicon. To be honest, I did not learn th this guy's name. I I do not know, so you, so you, so you, so you can't blame me on that. But I guess before we talk about Armada Megatron, let's talk about this thing. It's it's obviously you know a Minicon, clearly evident by the conveniently placed a Minicon port right on the crotch a little bit weird why they put it there instead of you know the the chest but what whatever the head is on a ball joint you know can look up that far down down that far swivel the arms if you move these out of the way are on ball joints as far as it seems you, you the show the elbow has an above 90 Bend, you you can move the uh, arm around freely. There is surprisingly an, an ab crunch, a pretty good one at that. Uh, on this figure, there's obviously no waist swivel, but that's kind of expected. The the figure has a less than ninety degree bend and nothing at the ankles. No spread can kick out that far, back that far, and yeah. I guess for vehicle mode, while we're on this Manicon, you know, flap that down. And this will be possibly be the only transformation sequence I'll possibly show at all in, in this video, if you can already tell. And boom, here you have a little kind of 
missile la launcher truck thing. Uh, you can uh, also turn the, the minicon here into a gun, like uh, uh, like typical minicons. They can be used as weapons. And kabam, here you have a gun for uh, for not Armada Megatron. But anyways, it's time to go to the, to the main man himself, Armada Megatron. And let me say, this figure is packed with gimmicks. Like, packed. But anyways, for articulation, the head is on a is on a ball joint, kind of a loose one at that. The shoulders are on are on ratchets. There is a double jointed uh, elbow, so still nearly maximum elbow. There is a there is a wrist swivel, and the fingers can each move quite like it, individually, like like they all can. But yeah, uh, you uh, you can flip out the uh, these little arm blades here, but they don't get get that much reach. To be honest, this figure does have an ab crunch. Pretty cool. There is a waist swivel. The legs can kick out. Ooh, a pretty good split. That's if the, that's if that does, doesn't happen. The not 90 degree knees. Pretty nice de detail here with the knees at least. There is a thigh swivel. And there is a... That's if the camera won't fall. A pretty decent bend. And there is, and there can be some toe down and heel down. Well, for some size size comparisons, here we have Armada Mags uh, right next to the Last Night Ma Megatron, and here we have him right next to Combiner Wars Thundercracker. And yes, this figure is huge. But anyways, when it comes to the more gimmick side of things, of this figure. As shown, there's the little arm blades. You you can, you know, plug the minicon here, like into any one of the ports on the shoulders or or the legs. Camera won't won't fall. You can move it out. I, I do the second. I do the signature. You know, cannon hold thing from from the side. And and you can like all all also flip around the turret uh, to do that uh, to do that like shield turret thing he does in the show, but 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 that's gonna take take up too much time, and I'm kind of ah uh, uh, that's time crunch. Uh, when it comes to 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 accessories though, besides the minicon. Uh, this thing ha has no accessories. I guess la la if you do want to count the card, you you can. But that's if you want. And there are some like extra parts, like like you know another set of horns, a different face. Uh, like and if you have the batteries for it, light up eyes, and these little kind of shells. Oh, which you'll find in tank mode. But anyways, well, let's get into tank mode. And here we have the tank tank mode. And as you could already tell, this thing is ginormous. I can't even fit it here on the whole entire cam camera view. It's that big. But yeah, I guess for uh, uh, when it, uh, when it comes to whatever articulation that uh, this thing has. Uh, you can move the turret around, uh, you can move the, the cannon up as high as you want, uh, and you can add, like, on oh, 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 this little gray piece here, you can make the cannon here gonna move, and if you do ha have batteries installed, the tip will light up, 
but I don't have batteries, so yeah. Uh, well, the tank can move, and yes, the treads at, like actually move itself. So yeah, uh, so that's kind of cool. And like I said in the robot mode, th the tank mode is where most of the gimmicks will be, because if you want, you can turn the, this entire tank into basically a bat a whole entire freaking battle station, and yeah. And basically, with this battle station, uh, you can get, like, other mini cons, and basically use this, le like, as a small hub for said mini cons. And, yeah, that, that, that's basically the whole point of this battle station, is for mini cons. So, I guess, if you wanted to get a whole look here, which is what I'm doing... Yeah. Yeah, and that's the whole battle station. And and, and those little shells I showed you here at the start of the video. This is where 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 they go. Right here inside this turret. And you can kinda shoot them out via this little button that is Right here. Let's see if I can move this thing. Right here. And yeah. You can also use the uh, uh, man, man, many cons and kind of have them push off. But it's really not that effective, to be honest. And you can have no many cons sit here, stand right here. You know, there's a whole lot of uses. With this thing, let's even like little kind of hidden compartments here, kind of made from the legs, which is kind of cool. And there's also like another whole set of stuff on the other side here, where where you can I guess store many cons in with that. There's a little kind of claw here to grab the many cons. Around for for whatever mini cons that that turn into planes or stuff like that, you know. This tank has a lot of you uses, and I mean a lot. But I guess for some size comparisons, here we have Armada Megatron. Until I can get this thing all nice and transformed back into its. Normal robot mode, normal tank mode here. Okay, boom, tank. Here, yeah, for size comparisons, here we have the tank mode of Megs with, with the last night Megatron and Combiner Wars style, a Thundercracker. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this cluster of a video, and hopefully did not find the, uh, the Armada Megatron segment too much of a, of a crazy, of craziness, because how big the figure was, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and like and subscribe.